Hey, what's up, guys? I wanted to bring you a new perspective on some uh, tips for writer's block. I had an email and I wanted to share some tips that I have that I've came across in my journey. So um, the first one is start with the second verse. I know we're very prone to start with the first verse that comes up and try and get all of those ideas out. But sometimes it's better to move the song a bit forward and go back to flesh everything out. The second one is write a niche based song like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, something like that. It'll give your brain a break and just allow it to have some fun. You'll create something cool with that. Next is pick a favorite line from a movie. Pick your favorite movie. Take a favorite line from that and build a full story around it. So no matter what your favorite is, create something off of that. It'll be a fun break for your brain as well. Okay, the next one is to use an old journal or diary or something and tap into some old feelings that you've forgotten about. This has worked for me several times with my writing journals. I've had something, I forgot all about it, and I'm able to tap into that. And you never know who is feeling like that now. So it's a good way to get some some energy that way. The next one is try writing in a different genre and add your spin to it. So let's say you're not really a huge fan of country, but you might want to jump into another genre and create, you know, a genre bending type song because you can create new fans, new appreciation for that genre as well, because you're able to put your own personality into it it's a very cool concept it's been done several times i look at nelly with his country song that was cool um next is write a new remix to an old song to give it new life so it kind of doubles back on that journal that we talked about let's say you have an old song that you know you finished years ago you might even recorded it add a new remix to it You've grown as an artist. You might be able to do some new things now. So why not take advantage of that and create some new content around that? Next is try writing from another person's perspective. This is probably one of my favorite ones because you're able to tap into the fantasy of everything. So Justin Timberlake, when he did the mirror song, That was a song that he did for his grandparents and how he told the story was from their perspective, which really opened it up for more storytelling. So you can be very creative when it comes to this, and this should help kick up some ideas for you. And the last one is pick a popular song that you love and write a response to it. Uh, If you remember Marvin's Room from Drake. When Jojo did a response to it, what made it so amazing was nobody had done that. And that song was so popular by that time. Then after she did it, there were so many people that wanted to remix it. But hers was the popular one. So you can gain some attraction by doing that, just going from another person's perspective. So that's a very dope cheat code right there so uh lastly if you guys have any ideas when i'm doing these videos if you have some things that you've come across on your musical journey let us know in the comments and you know we can always add a new video to it so with that i'll check you out on the next video peace Flow spittle, yeah. double vision with the missus, call him Yak Triple. <laughs> Never claimed in any of them lines to be a killer. Nah. Bet when that beat drop, I'm Jim City Gorilla. <laughs>